Hey guys, Moan here. I just wanted to talk to you guys about some of my favorite things from E3. We're gonna have a bigger conversation as a group later, but I just wanted to touch on some of the things I personally liked. So, first of all, let's talk about the new Legend of Zelda game. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now this game looks absolutely amazing. I mean, I was blown away at what they showed at E3 this year. We haven't seen... The last few years they've talked about the game, but they haven't showed any gameplay. But this is the first year that we got any actual details on the game. And I gotta say, <laughs> like I said, I'm just blown away. It's amazing and I can't wait to play this game. So... Okay, word begin. There's a lot to talk about this game. We've only been showed a little bit. It's an open world game. It's the first Zelda game that's just huge and open world. Well, I guess all the rest of the games were somewhat open world, but not in this kind of manner where you can actually climb up mountains and climb up trees and go diving and just pretty much explore every aspect aspect of the world. If you can see it, you can pretty much go there. I'm pretty sure there's going to be, you know, barriers at some point, but it's like huge, huge, huge world. Like I say, you can climb almost anything. You can climb mountains, you can climb, like, climb up trees. You know, you can sneak around, you know, certain paths to attack enemies in certain ways. It's just a big, big, beautiful world, and I can't wait to actually play it. Alright, some of the things that are really interesting are that you get different kinds of clothes and armor in this game. Uh, they affect you differently. Obviously, armor protects you more than if you're wearing some kind of cheap shirt or tunic. And then uh, the atmosphere actually also affects you. So if you're going through uh, somewhere where it's winter or snowing, and you're wearing a thin shirt, it's gonna you're just start gonna you're gonna start taking damage. So you're gonna want to wear you know thicker clothes to warm you up so you don't take that damage. You also have web you can get weapons that break. There's a bunch of different weapons you can get. Uh, you can steal weapons off of enemies. And for the first time in a Zelda game, you can act, well not the first time in a Zelda game, but a 3D Zelda game. You can have the ability to jump without an item. <laughs> like I said, it's this giant, giant, beautiful world. You can set things on fire to, you know, kill enemies or burn down new paths. You can chop down trees to build bridges to get across certain areas. It's a really nice open environment that you can do a lot in. You can also push rocks onto enemies and kill them. It's really really amazing like I said I can't wait to play this game there's also a, amiibo support in this game uh, the one amiibo that they showed off is that the wolf link amiibo from the Twilight Princess HD edition if you use this amiibo on the game after you completed the special dungeon in Twilight Princess it, it will allow you to summon the wolf link amiibo and you can use that and the well the wolf will help you attack enemies or go hunting it's a, it looks like a pretty cool feature and I can't wait to try it. They also announced three new amiibos for this game. Uh, two Link and uh, one of the Ancient Golem, I think it's called. They look pretty cool and I can't wait, wait to buy them. Alright, now moving on to Pokemon. Something else that Nintendo showed off. They didn't show off a lot this year. Uh, more than I thought they were going to, but didn't show off a lot. So Pokemon, they showed off three new Pokemon. Uh, Yangoose, Pikapik, and uh, Grubbin. Yangoose is a normal type Pokemon who... I think he's obviously based off of Mongoose because of the name. He looks pretty cool, I like his design. I just, I really love the design of all the Pokemon they showed so far, Pokemon Sun and Moon. So, Pikapik is a woodpecker Pokemon. They kind of... Uh, in the first trailer, you saw a little bit of him, but this is the actual first reveal. He looks really awesome. I, I can't wait to get him. He's probably going to be part of my team, depending how he ends up being in his final evolution. And then Grubbin's a, a new Bug-type Pokemon. He's probably kind of like Caterpie or Weedle, you know, that starter bug Pokemon that evolves into some weird, you know, flying type at the end. He, his design looks okay. Uh, I like it. He looks better than... You know, some of the past other starter, not starter, but beginning bug type Pokemon. Uh, you can also see their trainer in the battles. While you're doing battles, they're behind your Pokemon. So that's also a little cool aspect. And they also have a, a new battle feature called Free For All Battle. 
It's where uh, you battle against three people and it's an open battle. Uh, you can attack anyone. And you can gang up, gang up on people. If, you know, one or you know one of the trainers. It looks like a pretty cool feature. Uh, they showed a lot more features, but I'm not gonna get into it right now. Just it looks pretty cool. I can't wait to play those games. They look awesome. I love, I'm loving what I'm seeing so far. All right, uh, the next thing I want to talk about is Crash Bandicoot. Uh, Crash is back, apparently. <laughs> You know, they haven't made a, a new Crash game, I, I want to say, since the Wii, so it, it's been a while. And um, the first thing that they announced is that um, Crash is going to be in the new Skylanders game, uh, and he's also going to have a figure. The figure's only going to be uh, for the PS4 bundle, but if you're able to get your hands on the figure, he's going to be usable in any version of the game. So Wii U, or uh, I'm assuming there's a PS4 version, or Xbox One version as well. So if you get the figure, you'll be able to use them, and it looks pretty cool. I I, I want the figure. I'm probably not going to buy the game, but I'm I'm definitely going to try to get my hands on that figure because I I am a f fan of Crash or at least the character. I haven't played all the games. Um, they're also going to release remastered versions of Crash Bandicoot One, Two, and uh, Crash Warped. I don't know if it's going to be like a HD bundle, kind of like uh, they've been releasing, like the Ratchet and Clank bundle that had the first three games. Or if they're actually going to be remastered versions of the games, like uh, the new Crash game. So, they haven't released a lot of information, they just announced it. So I can't wait to see, you know, and I'm, I'm going to buy those games, so I'm going to play them, and I'm probably going to end up reviewing them. Like I said, I'm a Crash fan. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, also, kind of related to, not really related to Crash, but Skylanders. Uh, and this isn't E3 related, but I just wanted to talk about it for a second. Uh, they're also Netflix is also releasing a Skylanders show called Skylanders Academy. It's probably going to be animated, um, more than likely going to be animated. They already uh, approved two seasons, and uh, they already have a voice cast. Apparently, it's probably going to come out this year, the way it's seeming. Uh, Spyro already has a, a voice actor, Justin Long. They have a lot of voice actors actually. They had a long list of voice actors, and it's going to be interesting to watch. I'm a big animation fan, if you guys haven't realized. So it, it'll be interesting to watch and see how that comes out. Hopefully it's a good show. And I'm also a fan of Spyro, so that's why one of the reasons I wanted to talk about it, because he's kind of been dead in the wind. I know he's part of the Skylander series, but he kind of seems to be a background character now. And, I mean, that's pretty much it. I was hoping for some more news like Sonic or Mega Man, but we didn't get anything like that. But it's more than enough. Like I said, I'm super excited for the new Zelda game. The new Pokemon game. I can't wait until they release more information on these Crash games. And that's pretty much it. Uh, there's more that I'm going to talk about when I talk with the group. But those are the main three things I wanted to hit off on. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, you know, leave a good comment. You a fan of Crash? You are you a fan of Spyro? Fan of Zelda? Fan of Pokemon? Uh, do you want a new Spyro game? A new Crash and Spyro team up game? Because, I mean, they had that weird Game Boy Advance game, or Game Boy Advance games where they teamed up, or crossed over or something, I don't even remember. Anyway, leave a comment. Uh, thanks for watching. Later.